What is up guys, Free Winnie, welcome to my live reaction for chapter 287 and 288 of Shogeki no Soma. Alright guys, so in two weeks ago we had our we had Tsukasa Aishi, the former first seat, make an appearance. Challenge so much with Shokugeki to a battle. Woo! This is awesome, guys. I can't wait to see what's gonna go down. I know you guys can't wait. And we've got 287 so last week's chapter as well as this week's chapter that I will be reacting to reacting to in this video. I will have a timestamp for uh this week's chapter where it starts in the comment section below. If you don't want to see this one, then just jump straight to that. So there will be a timestamp down, down below. But anyway, guys, let's get straight to this week's chapter. I can't wait. I know you guys can't. Let's do this. Woo! All right, we're starting with an awesome color page. We've got chapter 287, Combini Wars. We've got an amazing color page here with Soma and Erina, uh, the Shonen Jump page. All right, let's get going. Now we've got another color page here with Tsukasa, Aishi, and Soma with their first seat pride on the line. Would you be willing to have a little competition? Let's see which of our dishes ends up being worth more. This is a skirmish that preludes the war for the topmost spot among the young chefs of the world, Yukihira. Oh yeah! Tsukasa vs. Soma! Tsukasa vs. Soma! Oh yeah, let's go, let's go. Storm the castle that aim for the pinnacle of cooking, Heaven's Keep. Chapter 287, Combini Wars. Let's go. The second gate. Make a dish with ingredients from this Combini. And if the judges say it's worth $100, approximately 10,000 yen, you pass the trial. You can go through the gate. What? The gate? The Ghana, because they're in what looks like your average company, it's actually kind of weird. The company was who will come out on top. Nice. So we got Soma and IG staring each other down. <laughs> oh dear, it seems like he caught their fire too. He looks like a blowtorch. <laughs> Talking about Taku. Don't you dare let me out of your scuffle, you can hear that. <laughs> All right, time to get. Move, move! <laughs> He's getting bumped. So, Kazaji kun, congratulations on your entry to Blue. People are saying you're the best of the best the light shows have to offer. Can you tell us how you're feeling at the moment? You're the light side. You're the light side's shining star. What? 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 What is it, Oh, you can hear a boy. Aldini kun. <laughs> What's going on here? Would you expect? We don't want this year's crown to go to a midnight chef. The best person to stop that is Tsukasa Aishi. So they're the ones who brought um, Tsukasa in. The light ship that the noise fear the most is him. Yeah? So that's Tsukasa Aishi. So he really did show up to Blue. <laughs> this nigga. I've seen photos of him in magazines, but the real article is far more beautiful. I like to take a look at his handmade food too. So we've got a couple of midnight chefs here. Um, we've also got how I hope for you all. I mean, you are the members of the current Elite 10. Your hopes are definitely not that high. Hmm, I definitely can't lose now. <laughs> We've got to show them that we're among the best through this challenge. I'm going to make me say, ah! <laughs> I love how Tuck me is like, yeah! Make me say, yay! <laughs> I love Mega Me, man. Mega Me is like my favorite. Mega Me is my favorite girl in this series. Like, closely followed by um, Erina and Alice. Well, in any case, Time to confirm what sort of stuff we've got to work with. Onions, tomatoes, we've got a decent amount of vegetables here. One combo is something else, I tell you. Eggs, milk, tofu, and something that looks like shredded pork. But there's no telling what the quality of these things is. Yeah, they're probably more than serviceable for a meal at home. But making a hundred dollar meal with them, well, oh yeah, probably, oh, that's why exactly what they're going for in this trial. So basically, Giving you stock standard ingredients, make it better than what it is. Just, just by combining usual everyday ingredients, what sort of novel and expected taste can you bring forth? 
That's what they're testing us on. That's my specialty! Ah, I'll have this done in a flash! <laughs> it's like, ah! It's like, that. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah? I've got to figure out my recipe quick, too! So tell me, he's like, yeah, what the hell? So, okay, so the main style of this dish is going to be the stuff in this can. Okay. Yamato style B. Go saute green onions and shimeji in sesame oil till they're fragrant. And then add the can of Yamato style beef in the pot juices and all. All. In the pot juices and all. Add tofu and then boil. Add black pepper and ginger paste from a tube to set the aromas. Look at that. I knew he'd be able to use these kombini greens skiffly, quickly and properly. He's putting his dish together. So yeah. Hmm. Thanks for waiting! So it looks like Soma's serving up his dish. Instant can beef sukiyaki course! Oh, what elegant plating! But how does it taste? You should... It's good. With beef as a star, you've built up a solid foundation of mummy. The flavour is rich, yet not tiring. Okay. Wow, such a developed food. Where did he... <laughs> In the bread aisle. The jelly bread... The... Inside, at least, I used the strawberry jelly. When boiling the beef, I added a bit of it into the broth, increasing the rich sweetness of the dish and its overall flavor profile. Jelly spread without the jelly bread without the jelly, so he's eating the bread. And as a secret flavor, I added yaki yaki niku sauce. It goes well with vegetables and meat. It ties together the whole dish. A do-it-all ingredient. Okay. Hmm. What sort of price is she going to put on the dish? About 50 bucks? Nah, I might just clear $100 on my first go. Here's my price. Minus $14. Give me your wallet. Huh? So, she, is your... Uh, come on, only yen? Well, whatever, I'll take the yen then. Wait, stop. Dang! Forget $100. What do you mean minus? <laughs> so, so much freaking out. Well, you didn't understand the point of the exercise, so you've wasted these ingredients. Obviously, you should be charged for their cost, right? Their cost? Wait a minute. So $14 is how much the ingredients I've used are worth. That means, according to this judge, my cooking didn't add any value to these ingredients at all, and just wasted them. Okay. Shit. You have three tries, so I guess you can afford one or two test runs, but the WGA coffers aren't bottomless, right? All right? You guys built a whole convenience store here. Okay. Anyway, the dish you just made was just a simple work of addiction. Okay, he goes, hmm, indeed. I hope you find this more pleasing than this is Sukasa! <laughs> Alright, what's Sukasa? A demi glazed sauce accompanied beef and chicken duet. Oh! Alright, 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 I like it, I like it. Whoa! What luxury! That's the sort of dish that wouldn't even look out of place as an entree at a French haunt cuisine establishment. How do you make that with combining ingredients? This is... I see. So you're the Totsuki graduate Tsukasa Aishikun, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Looks like you've gotten the idea. So someone's like, hmm. The sweet and sour aroma of this demi glazed sauce Stimul stimulates my appetite whether I want it to or not. So she's tasting the dish. Yeah, so rich. The components of the two layer construction, wrapped in pie dough, heightening each other's flavor. The upper layer is a chicken mousse. He's taking gently cooked chicken, added fresh cream, blended it in a mixer. The result melts in your mouth, and it mellow, it's mellow rich, umami, and sweetness it's, it suffuses the mouth. And the lower layer is the star, minced beef. It synergizes so well with the upper layer of the chicken mousse and the demi glazed sauce, a frighteningly well made dish. So she's having like a fugasm. But but it's still being made with combining ingredients, right? There's no way it could be. No. His cooking has changed every dimension of these ingredients. I, I didn't do anything particularly crazy. Let's see. I added stiffly beaten egg whites to the chicken mousse to enrich the texture. And I paired the mousse with mushroom paste. Paste. To looks to increase the richness. But canned mushrooms are slightly sticky, so I diced them and sauteed them until they lost nearly all their water content and content 
that totally removed any unwanted odor. And by reducing down the red wine as much as I could, I extracted only its flavor and melted it with the demi-glazed sauce. After all, they only had cheap wines. All of that was definitely crazy. They got the other shows going, ah! The maker bone of his dish can truly be found anywhere. Frozen hamburger patties, chicken salad, and frozen pie crust. These side dishes are designed and sold to be enjoyed by nearly everyone. Okay? That is totally, that is, totally balanced, smooth flavors. Such dishes cannot be used for this challenge. So he amplified only the elements of those pre-made dishes that would be fit for cuisine, ensuring that they didn't clash, harmonize, and vitalize them. A new Sukasa Aishi would be able of reaching such a dimension. So it was like, uh, whoa, there it is. Sukasa Aishi's special conver conversation with ingredients. Yes, but this ability, it's powered up far beyond what it was when he was at Totski. You over there, that dish you just made. The dish you just made. If you served it at your restaurant, do you think you could charge your customers $100 for it? Ah, uh, well... It'd probably be about 10 bucks. Not a chance. Well said. <laughs> yeah, probably about 10 bucks. Yeah, not really. And that's just it. All you did was add ingredients together. You can't clear this trial with just that. Anyone can do that. Multiply, square, expo exposonate the essence of these ingredients. That is what a pro must do. Here's my price. Plus $587! Huh? No way! So even the midnight shows are freaking out. And they just jump, seem like a pile of money on the thing. And it's like, <laughs> so we got like the tensions like, ah! Like, truth be told, there's no way any diner is serving a dish that's anywhere near a hundred dollars. This trial mile might be a bit difficult for you. No, that's not necessarily true. We've got one dish perfectly suited to this challenge. What did you say? Just wait and see. This might be worth a few hundred. I'm going to serve you Yukihira's pride and joy. A climatic dish. What is it? Chapter 287. End. Alright guys, so Tsukasa Aishi made $587. Well, Soma made minus $14. So the question is going to be, what is this dish? Will it match Sukasa's? We don't know. But we're going to find out in the next chapter right now. Let's go, guys. Chapter 288 is coming up. All right, guys. So we're going to straighten to chapter 288. An exceptional set menu. We've got a nice little picture here of Megami. I'll follow this path wherever it leads. Chapter 288, an exceptional set menu. Alright, let's go. I got it. The perfect menu. No matter how many times I've served it, it's it never disappoints. The pride and joy of Yukihira is coming right up. What is Soma's plan? So we got Sukasa, he's standing there. He's got a bit of a smile on his face, like, <laughs> Okay. Hey, hey you. Since you're done with judging, do you mind stepping back? Also, take this with you. Huh? You're giving this to me? Of course. You've earned it after all. No, but I don't have a bag. Uh, they're all even in single dollar bills? Hmm? I'm <laughs> just the guy like holding like five and everybody's like, yeah. <laughs> hmm? So we've got Sukasa Aishi. After graduating from Toski, he voraciously traveled the world, polishing his skills daily. Okay, so he's got, she's gone off to get a magazine. She's reading about him. He was hell bent to get on the staff of a famous restaurant with a star. Okay, translate not specifically, not specifically mentioned, but they mean Michelin star, obviously. It's quite the fan fan. No matter which gourmet magazine it is, he's featured in it. Well, it's certainly to be expected with what he attempted in this test. It couldn't be seen any clearer. Generally speaking, the ingredients 
used by high class restaurants look dazzlingly sharp on look dazzlingly sharpened on their flavors chart. In contrast, so we've got little things like to a lot of um umami, really sweet, bang bang. Convenience store dishes look mostly like this. So it's kind of more of an even thing. Okay. If you just combine it or normally it'll be mediocre as gourmet cuisine. Even if you want to somehow sharpen flavours, there's a lot of room for off flavours to develop. Ah uh, geez, the flavour doesn't come out at all. This taste is a problem. What in the world should I do? So we see a lot of other chefs are struggling. This kind of limitation to think he'd be able to kick out something on an unbelievable $500 level, I'm honestly shocked. On the other hand, the Yukihira Soma guy, this is a test to say convenience store products to the level of high class gourmet cuisine. So even with that as the thing, you're going to put out a dish from a diner? What in the world are you planning to serve? Hmm? Hee ho! <laughs> he's, like, he's got like, just like, Duh! so he's got, like, he's got a ton of stuff there. Hey, wait, what in the world are you planning to do with all that? You better not be wasting all that inventory. No, I'm going to use it all, I promise. What'd you say? Well, just look forward to it. Ha! So he's put it up. That container, could it be? Miss Lantern, could you please judge us next? Okay. So we've got Simon, he's going in, he's chopping, he's sauteing, he's doing all the stuff. What's with him? I have no clue. It doesn't look like he has a product he's going to use as his main ingredient. He's just ripping open completely unrelated products one after another and haphaz haphazardly cooking it. Can't be anything but desperation. Just what in the world is he making over there? The so it's like ding 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 Fail, fail, fail. You pass $150. Yours is $128. So we've got a couple of the other light shifts passing. Hehe, <laughs> I gave an unexpectedly large sum. With this, the third gate. And Arthur should be pretty interesting. The bookmaster should be pretty happy. Yeah, I was, so, I was in such a good mood. Now it's you again. Oh, come on, don't say that. Thanks for waiting. <laughs> hmm? Sparkle, it's all sparkly, it's all shiny. <laughs> what did he say? It's my out of season Kilo Osechi. Translation note Osechi is a special set of dishes served during New Year's. New Year's. Each item has significance to welcome an auspicious year. It's out of season since it's not the new year. I said, you gotta be kidding me! What a full sum of side dish! It must mean an absurd workload. He was able to do do that all in this short amount of time. Yeah, yeah now I call it a Seji. It's representative representative of a communist feast. Even though we're a diner during the year's end, we take orders for a Seji too. It's another popular item. This time, I've tried my own personal arrangement with it. Okay. So he set it up differently. Hmm. It was hastily prepared. I don't know. I don't know how tasty your osechi is back home, but a genuine Japanese restaurant osechi takes several weeks to carefully select ingredients, prepare, and cook them. It's not a dish you could possibly bring out in this test. You won't know until you actually try it, right? Eat up. Ah, oh, I love it so much. Got so much cold. <laughs> so she's chewing, she's tasting it. See, look, it's the same level as the negative fourteen dollar meal from earlier. Not even a high level of multiplication. No matter how you add up a negative, a negative will always be a negative. Do you want to go bankrupt? So she's chewing, she's munching. She's like, dum, dum. she's just eating more and more and more. I love it. What's going on? It's the opposite of her word. She's devouring, devouring it wholeheartedly. What kind of secret is hiding within all those side dishes? Translation note. Goody Kinton is a dish made from sweet potato and chestnuts. I didn't do anything spe anything all that special. The Goody Kinton is actually soy sauce stewed soy soy stewed sweet potato. Solid in the fettuccine with fat. I simmer it in orange juice while mashing them. I substituted the gardenia seeds that I usually use to get the yellow colouring with the orange juice. It's the gochakuri kinton potato. 
Okay, so you change stuff out for other things. Okay, you need to get a drink. There's quite a bit of writing here. Oh, that's better. Okay, the Date Maki is made from egg and a hot handpan from the Odin corner. I used a mix of the blend it with sugar and salt and cooked it in a roll omelette pan. Translation note here is Date, Date Maki is one of the classic Oseshi dishes. It's a rolled omelette with fish cake. Handpan is a type of white fish cake you can eat when you have Odin, which is stewed fish cake, root vegetables, eggs, etc. Okay. Gahaku Namasu. If you season the salad vegetable with sugar, salt, and vinegar, and you transfer it into namasu. Sprinkle, sprinkle all the salt, ring, the salt, wring out the moisture, and let the sweet vinegar permeate throughout. Check it pattern fish ham roll. Take the daikon and carrots from vegetable sticks and wrap them wrap with fresh ham. Coat the reverse side with honey and grain mustard, and it'll act like glue. Okay, so we got uh, Tamago Yakiki Aka Rolled Omelette Pan is a square pan used to cook rolled omelettes. Okay. Oh, he completely, he's completely using everyday ingredients. However, I can't fathom that that's all it takes to satisfy the judge. What's telling about this Osechi is beyond that. This Osechi is a coarse meal. Huh? Oh, it's a coarse meal. No matter where you start, no matter which order you proceed, it's pure harmony. It's laid out so you, you crave the next dish. Okay. To put in other words, within each dish is a course with no set root. Of all the things I've eaten until now, this is the most free course meal I've had. Ah! I love it! So basically, you can go bang, bang, bang. You can go anywhere and it's going to harmonize perfectly. I love it. But what? You build such a delicate menu all within these Tens of minutes? I I don't believe it. That's right. The theme was high-end ingredients. I probably couldn't couldn't have pulled it off. Perhaps if it weren't for the convenience store products, it had been impossible. Thanks to the products already being prepped, heated, and cooked to perfection, it made the workload manageable. This essentially is that way because of this test. It's a dish I could have only made because of the convenience store products. Okay. I can't believe it. Even though he didn't multiply the ingredients, he was, all, he was able to create the harmony of high class, gourmet level cuisine. Is that even possible? Don't tell me he, ch don't tell me he challenged this test by just pushing through with addition. Now then, about time, you tell me how much it's this is worth. Which one is it? That will be a no. <laughs> He's like, yeah. but wait, I was wrong. Please forgive me. I can't possibly. Even though I've been stripped of everything, he's still collecting. No! You passed. It wasn't much. Alright. So he's passed, but we don't actually find. I want to see what this is in the bottom corner. Bursting through the second test, chapter 288, end. Alright guys, so it looks like Soma has passed the test. What is the price? Don't know. We don't know. I'm assuming we're going to find out next week. I'm looking forward to finding out what the actual price was, what he got. Seeing if it was the same as uh, Sukasa or not. I reckon he'll be up there with Sukasa. So I'm hopefully next week we'll find that out. But anyway, guys, that is all for me this week. I hope you guys have enjoyed these two chapters. These are two solid chapters. It looks like we're moving on to the third gate next week. Or soon we're going to find out about Takumi and uh, Megumi. Uh, I'm looking forward to next week's chapter already. But anyway, guys, that is all for me. Let me know in that comment section below what you guys thought. Did you like it? Didn't like it? All that kind of jazz. And as always, guys, I'm Freno1. You guys are awesome. Smash that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. It's completely and totally free. And you know we like that free shit. And as always, I'll see you guys next week with another live reaction. Peace.